What's going on y'all? Welcome to the vlog. It's been a busy day so far. We're uh, out here doing a little editing here at the old editing station. Kind of got a little corner set up and Miss Bay just joined us. Just came up here. I've been kind of battling her. She uh, she comes up here and she kind of just, just kind of bothers me. She does this weird like domination humping thing. It's really strange. Anyway, so I'm not going fishing or hunting today. I'm editing this video, which you guys have already seen at this point. I'm going to go for a little run, get some energy out, and I get to see Ocean Spoon Girl this afternoon. Pretty pumped about that. I haven't seen her in a while. You know, I just figured, hey, I'll pick up the camera today. I'll take you along for the ride. I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. What is that? You growl at everything. You growl. What is it you need? You just look like you want to kill something. I gotta go for a run, Miss B, so I cannot play with you. I apologize. No, and you were not getting up here and chewing. These are important items up here. Look, look, what is this? Look, what is, what, what in the world is that? Latching on and just like, latching on and saying, hey, play with me. I'm sure Lake Fort Mom really enjoys you tearing up her pink gloves. That's great. Yeah, go give it to her. Just got to the park here. You know, I love running in the woods. Much better than concrete. Concrete is just bleh. I used to come down here in my, my little Jeep. I had a little rod rack on the back and I'd set up catfish rods and I learned about schooling white bass and I'd get my longest rod and reel. I could, well, I really only had like two. <laughs> but I would throw out there as long as I could with the biggest lure I could to try to catch white bass that were schooling off the, the shore. So this place means a lot to me because I've spent a lot of time out here. I've spent a lot of days like where I'm trying to just figure things out. This is where I came to do a lot of my runs before heading in to get surgery on the brain tumor. And I used to come out here and just, you know, set up some rods and just kind of think, think about life. Think about what's going on, what the next move is. What do I need to be doing? Am I doing things right? That sort of deal. It's always better to do that in the woods rather than the city. You kidding me? I'll take the woods and water any day. I think you guys would too. I really haven't run since brain surgery. And my goal, my other goal for the year is to run in a couple of events. One of them being to uh, help raise awareness for brain tumors since there's really like it seems like they're a freaking mystery and it bugs the crap out of me. So, plus I just wanna like do it for myself. Like, yeah, you know, I had a brain tumor, but guess what? I'm back out there. I'm gonna, I wanna complete something that I've never done before and eventually do a full marathon post-surgery. So, just to, you know, just to fully kick Willis in the freaking throat is what, what I'm feeling. Anyway, I'm gonna go do this. I'll meet you guys here in a minute. Whew. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Would you believe me if I told you that that was pretty hard for me? I'm sure you would. That's really the first taste of actual running that I've had post-surgery. It went about like you would expect. I wasn't even paying attention to time, pace and all that, just getting through. I actually only went three miles, but it was with hills and trails and everything. So if something's happened to one of my discs again, I've had two back surgeries for disc problems like rupturing disc and bulging discs and it's got bad back genetics it's just the fact of the matter falling on the ice the other day up there with John and Rob that did nothing for the problem let me tell you actually after that I felt like just a, a sack of old dirty pine cones you got these two nerves that run along your spine and down your legs called sciatic nerves and when your disc pushes out it hits those nerves and it it just feels like you got a pulled hamstring, it starts in your butt, and then it goes down to your hamstring and eventually in your toes. Like I'm starting to have, you know, the problem, especially standing on the boat all day. And I'm, I'm wanting to go really hard this season. So I just want to keep in shape to where I can still go do everything full strength and be able to film all day for you guys and not feel like a freaking glob of goo out there. The physical training and all that stuff, I feel like it carries into everything else that you do and it gave me a lot of confidence to actually helped me recover extremely fast I had a super super fast recovery from brain surgery 
and I think it's just from you know getting mentally prepared and physically prepared for that battle and the strength of Jesus thank you Lord I think it's about time for OSG to be heading up this way so we're gonna go meet up with her y'all you haven't seen her in a while let's go check in with OSG Reunited. Yeah. we've already had our official hug but look at that box boxed up yeah we've got a lot Look how organized she is. See, this is why I bring nothing to the table. <laughs> this is why you're not in charge of packing <laughs> exactly. or storage. I'm not in charge of much around here. Good to see you, my love. Good to see you. I missed you. The internet missed you. Oh. I guess you need some help with your bags. I do. Just don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we it's don't. a day by day um, situation. Here. Yes, it is. Okay. Grab a box. Help us move. <laughs> This is too good. This is too good. Uh, my mom's favorite car, the Bulldog, just jumped into it. And she is, uh, she's just getting after it. She's ready to go. I think she wants to go with you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to grab her. Do you want me to go get the leash? <laughs> Contain that beast. <laughs> no. Hi. <laughs> She's a full, full blown savage. <laughs> That's for sure. No, she bit me. <laughs> she bit everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeez, I put a monster away. <laughs> She's still working. Alrighty, I've got an extra special surprise for OSG and for you guys. We're going on an aquarium date. Actually, we're not. We're going to feed Gary. Gary needs to be fed. You ready to go on our aquarium date? I'm ready to go on an adventure with you. All right. What are we doing? We're going to the Dallas World Aquarium. All right. Let's go. It's a very special fish. It's a very special fish. Let's go. Oh, don't you'll see when you get down. there. Yeah, I don't want to run the surprise. Yeah, I apologize. You have some friends today. <laughs> today. It's been, been a while since I've had friends. Been doing a lot of traveling, fishing, and just models? trying to... Those are all big sexies right there. Man! You get to share the seat big, with... Big sexy with a big sexy man. That's what you got. Big sexies. Six, if you include me. Yeah. Must be my lucky day. I'm a lucky girl. I'm gonna go get some goldies. How many goldfish are we getting? By the way, we're not going to a uh, actual aquarium. It kind of is, but <laughs> sunlight's like been a, weird in the car. It's like right? a homemade aquarium. Well, it's cool. You've never seen it, right? No, I have not okay. seen it. I'm excited to see it. I think, we, I think Gary's probably going to need about 50. There they are. Look at that guy. I thought he'd be tasty. Kind of looks like uh, Miss B. I think there's 35. That does yeah. not look like 50 to me. Yeah, definitely does not. I asked for 50. Maybe there's some in there that are clear that I didn't see. It might have been a little skimpy here. I've never gone shopping for fish. I feel like the girl off of Finding Nemo. What's her name? I don't know. I've never seen it. Oh, you know what fix her movies. You're the, you're she, the Disney gal. <laughs> she like holds up the fish and says, why are you sleeping? I don't know what I'm talking about. This would be a lot funner. No <laughs> idea. what I was talking about. If anyone knows, please let us comment know in the below. We have a lot of these moments, but I she's know. seen every Disney movie, and I've seen like four. <laughs> the classics, the ones you have to. It's off of Finding Nemo. It's Darla! OSG enters the MTB Ooh. house. First time I've actually been in here, I think. Is it? No. Yes? Yes, I it, think is. it is. There's, uh, there's little things, little things around the house. There's a kudu. Um, so this is actually a lot cleaner than it normally is. Yeah. Just FYI, nice. Christmas tree's still up. This is probably where my next mount's gonna be until we get a cave for ourselves. And here we have Gary. I've missed you, Gary. Gary looks very hungry. This thing is huge. He's like, where have you been? He's like, where have you, where have you been, LFG? Okay, so here's what you, here's what you gotta do. Gary's freaking out because he knows that's his that's his favorite rock. That's like his comfort rock. It's Gary's rock. Get one of those uh, goldfish out of the top there. Don't be scared now. They're not gonna bite you. I can't grab them. <laughs> Use those little eye eye fingers. There you go. There you go. Alright, yeah, just stick it in there. Just drop it down. Send her down. 
Let's get those little flecks. He's, he's up top. Duh. That's it. That's it. Find it. <coughs> no, backed out on it. Come Gary. On. Come on, dude. He's shy. It's feed day. You haven't fed in a while. Oh, he's going to grab it now. See that? See that instinct? Oh. Boom. Got him. <laughs> Got him. All right. Give him a, give him a couple more. He doesn't like the gray ones. I guess I wouldn't either. Yep. <laughs> Scared it. Oh, you see that? See him kind of roll his eyes over? He's looking at you like, what kind of cheap, cheap ass goldfish <laughs> did you give me? Let's check the peak feeding times for today with the moon phase. Well, today we're looking at peak feeding time at 624 hmm. p.m. Wow. And, uh, we're about an hour early. We're about an hour early, yeah. so. Hmm. Oh, there they go. Oh, here it comes. Oh, got him. He has to go up there and kind of at least give it a try. It's just his instinct. Oh, nope. got that one. Nope. Got him. Oh, nope. we spit it out. He didn't like that one. Oh, these goldfish right now will probably last them a week or so. I mean, when last time we were here, we put in like 150. Oh, we just got another one. I think we probably need to give them like some crawfish as a special treat one of these days. Mm. Something a little bit different. Some hot dogs, maybe Maybe he might like hot dogs. <laughs> some Oscar Myers. What do you think, Gary? What do you think about OSG, Gary? I don't know if you're Y'all should be friends. You don't, you don't think so? Hey. I think he does. You just coming over to say bye? All right, Gary. <laughs> we fed you, it's been a good day. Um, you're fed for a while, and uh, I wish you the best, my friend. Happy trails. Happy trails to you. I'm glad you got to meet OSG today. You got anything to say at all to Gary here? Gary, it's been a pleasure. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Oh, maybe no. we'll bring you something else for dinner. That's the aquarium date. Oh, and we're back. Look, at Look who's there to greet us. Look at the weird shaking <laughs> of the bottom. The weird shaking what of the that? bottom. That's a, that's a bulldog tail shake is what that is. Hey. Sit. Okay, yes. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Good. That's a good girl. What are we having? Catfish? Catfish. Yummy. Catfish dinner. Uh, nah, LFD? Good, good to see you, sir. Good to see you, man. All right, it is time to wrap it up here, y'all. It's been quite the day. Went on a little jog. Got to see OSG. Got to, uh... Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen my own husband. I know. Isn't it good? Gosh, we've had so many months where we're acting like apart. It's been <laughs> suckage. Thanks for watching the vlog. You're gonna close this one out? No, I'll let you. It's your vlog. I got oh, my. I have my own vlog channel now. That's right. <laughs> That's right. She doesn't need me. Yeah. She's got her own vlog channel. You guys can go check out OSG at her channel. I was your first yeah. subscriber. Sure. Proud of you. More of those to come, I think on her channel if you want to subscribe and hey, hey we always got more rolling out here y'all so hunting fishing I'm not gonna say loving every day I mean freaking look around whatever you saw that coming but I will say I love each and every one of you fishing freaks I hope you subscribe make sure to turn on the notifications as well because that little ring bell thing that's right that's the little deal the little ding dong thing mm -hmm. click that deal cuz um, we wanna make sure you're you're getting on each and every single bite We'll see y'all in the next fish breaks. Bye. Later.